What if I told you the true essence of mastering golf lies not just in the perfect swing or body mechanics, but instead in this seamless harmony and connection between you and your club, and the one individual who's been able to perform this intricate dance better than anyone in the entire world is none other than Tiger Woods. My career has been based on hands and feel. I've always played a lot of my hands. I control a lot of my speed and what I do with my hand speed. I've never been one that really focuses on what my body's doing because at the end of the day, that's the only connection we have with the golf club is our hands. And so if you're not feeling it with your hands, then what connection do you have with the golf club? So in today's video, we're really gonna break down where the true magic of Tiger Swing truly lies. And it has nothing to do with his body, it's his hands, specifically the trail hand. So in this video, we're gonna break down the three key activation points of the trail hand. And by understanding how to connect those to the handle, we'll give you the proper control of the handle and club face throughout the entire golf swing, which is what Tiger does better than anyone. Okay, so activation point number one of the trail hand is going to be getting the proper wrist and finger extension. What this does is this is going to start activating the knuckle pads of the trail hand. And those are really important because that's what's allowing you to create the proper connection of trail palm to lead thumb knuckle and proper connection of the trail hand to the handle of the golf club. See, these pads here are what's exerting the kind of force against the side of the handle that's allowing you to drive the trail side of the golf club down the line as you're coming through the ball. So, and this is what you see with all really good players, especially Tiger. So when you hear that whole like adage, just like you wanna feel like you have three right hands as you're coming through the ball, what they're basically saying is that you wanna feel like your fingers are bent back of your palm as long as possible and just driving that palm right down the line. So. Really important that we get this first activation correct. And the way we're gonna do this is just getting the fingers all sewed together, just like we always talk about with the claws, proper pinch here. We're gonna take the fingers and extend them back of the palm, okay? Really feeling the proper wrist extension. Now from here, the final step to this is we're gonna take our fingers and just pull them back just a little bit more, just feeling that full finger extension now, okay? And finger extension just really kind of pulling your fingers back. This is giving you full activation of those pads. And again, those are really important because that's what's pushing against the handle. I really feel like you're molding those against the grip properly. When it comes to connecting this to the handle, you wanna feel that same sensation where the fingers are back of the palm. And then now we make our normal connection like you hear us talk about a lot where it's trail palm to lead thumb knuckle. And then from there, you're gonna see when you do this, how it's really gonna align those pads from index pad to pinky pad against the handle. And that's giving you that ability to push. And that's why it's really important that we get that trail palm connected to that lead thumb knuckle, because it really allows you to push those pads into the grip. See, we see commonly where students actually start with their fingers first when they're gripping the club, and then they don't actually get this trail palm connected properly. Then you get in the fingers too much, and again, you're gonna see as we go through kind of these three activations, in swing, that's gonna cause a lot of problems. So again, always starting with fingers back of the palm, almost feel like they're pointing like away from the target. And then from there, we're just gonna go pinky pad and trail index pad against the side of the handle trail palm against lead thumb knuckle. And then now we've got the perfect connection. And what this is really allowing you to feel and how this relates to the face of the golf club is you want to imagine that the pinky of the trail hand pushing against the handle is what's driving the heel of the golf club. Okay, if we took the trail hand here and just kind of put it right around the club face, you're going to see that this part right here is controlling this part right here. This is how the trail hand correlates to the face. So by getting that placed on there properly, now you're gonna see in the end of this video, when we blend all three of these together, 
the trail hand's job is really driving the trail side of the golf club, but specifically the handle is leading the club head, which is letting the heel of the golf club lead the toe. And that's what all great players do, especially Tiger. So again, recap, hand, wrist and finger extension, trail palm to lead thumb knuckle allows you to push against the trail side of the handle, really feeling that V pointing up at the trail shoulder. And then from there, that's giving you the ability to get the perfect control of the heel of the golf club. Okay, so now that we got that trail palm connected to lead thumb knuckle, we've got the proper wrist and finger extension. We really have the ability now to control the trail side of the golf club. See, if you took the golf club and basically cut it in half, the trail side of the grip is controlling the trail side of the golf club. So by getting that trail hand placed on there properly, now you have ultimate control of the trail side of the handle, which gives you ultimate control of the trail side of the golf club. And that's what we're looking for because golf's a sideways sport. So the more we can feel that kind of skipping that rock feeling, hands on the side of the handle, we're in business. And again, Tiger does this better than anyone. So now that we have this proper connection, we're gonna talk about the number two activation, which is going to be getting the proper hook of the trail index finger around the grip. How we're gonna do this is we're going to focus on just curling the fingertips. So it kind of creates that claw that you hear us talk about a lot. And that curl of those fingertips is what's going to allow you to get that proper hook around that grip to where the trail palms connected elite thumb knuckle. Again, we've got the full connection of the pads against the side of the handle. And then now from there, you're just gonna see us just curl that trail index finger around the trail side of that grip. Okay, hooking it right there. Now from there, when we do that, that's what's going to give us that control of the handle of that golf club, specifically that trail side. See, Tiger talks about this a lot, but this hook right here is the closest part to the actual golf club. So this is where a lot of that feel comes in. My father taught me that it's the, the closest hand you should feel it with is your right hand. Obviously it's closest to the club face. And so I'll get a lot of my feel in my right hand. You see this with, with Tiger a lot when he's gripping the golf club to where if you look, his trail index finger is actually hooked down the grip further than his thumb. See, we see commonly with a lot of golfers that make this mistake is, is they'll, they'll get the thumb extended down the grip too much. And what this tends to do is this tends to kind of cause you to grab like this too much, which creates a little too much tension in the wrist itself and restricts kind of the mobility of your wrist and club throughout the swing. So extremely important that we get this right. There's a ton of feel in the fingertips. So it's really important that we get that finger extension and then curl so then now it's in the tips of those fingers properly. By getting the proper activation of the curl of the fingertips, that kind of activates this hook right here. Almost imagine if you, kind of took your finger and just kind of pulled that back, that's where the club is gonna hook in there. So that's how we're gonna, like I said, when we talk about blending these three together, we're gonna to talk about how this hook right here is going to give you the ultimate control of the toe of the golf club. So if you're trying to maybe get a little more draw, things like that, using this pressure point here of the kind of index pad of the trail hand pushing against the side of the handle and this hook right here, you can really start to understand how to control the toe of that golf club. So again, a recap, we're gonna curl the fingertips, then we're gonna hook that trail index finger down just so it's just past this kind of index finger right here. We don't wanna to get too far down here because then that could cause some problems with kind of the trail palm connection to lead thumb, but um, always make sure that it's extended down the grip further than the thumb. So that's where a lot of that feel is gonna come into play. And you see this with Tiger a lot when we look at the slow-mos of his grip, of him kind of molding his claws on the grip, you can see he's got that hook right there. And also he's been teaching this to Charlie. When he's gripping that golf club, he's got that trail index finger really hooked down the grip. So it's kind of cool to see that Tiger's kind of teaching this to Charlie. And I mean, he understands the importance of this. Again, it's just kind of hidden in plain sight. And you know, I'm glad we've kind of done this digging because it's going to help you a lot just understanding these concepts. But you see a ton of hook with Charlie. I mean, he's got it extended almost halfway down from his 
um, kind of middle finger here and I mean just a total control of the toe and that's where you see him do a lot of those recoils and just gets a ton of speed there um, and he's got huge hands too so that's helping him a lot and the, the cool thing about this kind of hook with this index finger is it's going to allow us to fully utilize the number three activation in the number three activation when we get this proper kind of pinch here between their thumb and forefinger it's giving you this nice little notch for the club to set in okay so really similar to that lead thumb like we were talking about but instead of the entire thumbprint being placed on the grip when we get this notch right here and we get trail palm connected lead thumb knuckle curl the fingertips to get the hook you're going to see when we do this how that thumb isn't the entire way down the grip because then that would give you the full thumbprint when we get this proper notch right here you're going to be placing the top trail side of your thumb on the top trail side of the grip when we get that proper placement of the kind of side of that thumbprint placed on the grip that's your kind of full security and connection to that handle now. So now you can really support that golf club throughout the entire swing. And the cool thing too is that this pinch right here is really going to be relative to the actual top edge of the club face. And this top edge is really important because this is how you're going to really relate where the club head is at relative to the handle throughout the entire swing. So you're gonna be able to use this to self-analyze and self-correct your own golf swing. And we'll get into all that kind of in, in future videos. But um, when we start talking about how we're gonna use these three together here coming up, you're gonna see it's a really good way to just understand how to locate where the club's at relative to the hands and the handle. And I'm gonna give you a little bonus here. And we don't talk about this a lot um, and it's really, maybe a little bit of a secret that we've never really discussed on any of our content is understanding that when you get the proper kind of curl of your fingertips, when you do that, you're taking the handle of the golf club and pulling it into this thumbprint, okay? And that's so important and that's like a little secret. So when you get this curl, just pull the grip right in there and then now you have maximum security and you can make swings and you'll never lose that security. And that's gonna give you, again, perfect control of that top edge of that face, a little bonus activation. <laughs> okay, so let's hit a ball. Let's combine all three of these things and really just understand how we're going to get this proper hand to handle to face control throughout the entire golf swing and just go through your process, okay? Just be really meticulous in how you do this. I really want you to feel that proper wrist and finger extension, Get that trail palm to lead thumb knuckle, curl the fingertips to get the hook, and then pull that grip right back to that pinch. I saw a 160 yard shot here. I got an eight iron, which is typically about a 165 club for me. Set up that club face, nice and square. Now I'm good to go. Now I just connect trail palm to lead thumb knuckle. solid hit oh I hit it a little far oh wow 183 yikes boy I felt like I was like boom, boom that was all trail hand trail palm fingers back of the palm boom I felt like I had perfect control felt like the club was like here as I was coming into the ball and as that trail arm goes from bent to straight that heels leading the toe because again palm is leading the fingers and boom you can see nice little tight draw there I just absolutely crushed it I'm gonna move the green back a little bit because I feel like I've kind of created a monster uh let's go like one I'm gonna go 170 all right let's do just a little like one 170 here feel like the club face is in like my trail hand is the club face it's kind of like this little like mold basically I pulled it a little bit. Again, just absolutely crushed it though. I mean, it's, 100 and, it's 184 yards. I just so loaded, guys. Again, it just feels like my trail hand's controlling my entire golf swing. It just feels like I have perfect control of every single little piece of this club face. It's that hand to handle to face relationship. It's the most important thing. It's what every good golfer is doing, especially 
the GOAT. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.